Hey guys, welcome to The Family Dies. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. My name is Hannah. And I'm Edward. And uh, we're bringing you another great video today. This one's a, it's an unboxing slash rescue project. We found two damaged partial second edition boxes on eBay. And so we decided to uh, do a little bit of a rescue operation. We got both of the sets and uh, out of the two we were able to combine everything to make one full set. Um, and we decided that they just needed to be brought back to life. And uh, we had a, a project in mind anyways for all of the sets, so this is going to fit quite nicely into it. So for the video today, uh, we're going to be unboxing and revealing the culmination of the, the set that we decided um, you know, to keep, as well as us, uh, stripping and prepping that and renewing that set and just kind of saving it. All right, so here we go. This is the combination of two uh, really beat up Warhammer 40K second edition box sets. Uh, so this was the best box of the two, um, but I'm not gonna complain because again, I now have a full and complete set. So as you see, it's got the Death Dread, the dice, the Space Marines, um, all of the orcs and Gretchens are included. Um, it's got all the cards, um, all of the train, and it's not even punched out. It's still, it's still um, new on the card. So really, all all that's been kind of messed with has been the models. So, um, and some of them are still on the sprue. So we're actually. Uh, really fortunate to have that now, some of it's been coated and painted and some of it's been um, assembled as you can see but um, it's a complete set so what we're gonna work on t for this video is taking these guys and uh, trying to get them cleaned up so um, most of the models have been assembled uh, as you can see with these space marines they have been painted and uh, unfortunately quite quite a thick paint job um, not the best condition in the world but I'm going to attempt to save these models and strip them down and repaint them so I want to give a special shout out to Casey from eBay Miniature Rescues I've watched a lot of his videos, a lot of his rescue videos, and uh, he's kind of given me the inspiration to be courageous enough to actually try and paint some used models. Uh, Alright, so here we are with the setup for stripping. So I uh, got this uh, from Amazon, um, got a bowl of water, got a toothbrush, and got uh, some of... LA is totally awesome. So again, this is exactly what I've seen uh, Casey from eBay Miniature Rescues using. So I'm gonna give it a try. This is gonna be my first ever attempt to uh, rescue a uh, miniature. And if it goes well, then hopefully I'll have a really nice looking second edition um, starter set. So here is my first uh, guy. This is gonna be my test subject. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop him in there. And he floats, close the lid, and so I want to take a moment to also give a shout out to Brent from Goobertown Hobbies. Um, he did a video around the chemicals um, available for stripping and, and which ones work best. I uh, found it really useful um, and 
deciding to go with Ellie is totally awesome. So again, for both uh, Casey from eBay Miniature Rescues and Brent from Gibbertown Hobbies, I'll put links to their channels in the description below. Uh, if you guys are watching this, thanks so much for all you guys do. Uh, we love you guys and your content. Just keep up those awesome videos. All right, guys, here we go. So we did eight minutes. Let's take a look. And I don't know. It looks I I'm I'm starting to see. Uh, if you, I don't know if you can tell right there, but you can kind of see see through to the plastic. So it is it is definitely doing some work. So I'm gonna try to change up a little bit. Um, some people use the basket, some people don't. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take it out and see if it works any better without it. So we'll be back. All right, here we go. This is our third eight minute cycle. Oh, that's what I've been looking for. Oh uh, yeah. You can definitely see that colors coming off there. That is just amazing right there. All right, I'm gonna do some scrubbing on this model and see if we can get some more off. All right, so here is some minimal scrubbing after soaking the model and I have to say I'm really impressed like the model looks really good um, a lot of the paint has come off I think a little bit more time and a little bit more scrubbing and this guy will be perfectly uh, restored to his natural plastic state and he will be ready for a brand new paint job all right, well, let's get some more done, and uh, I'll show you the guys the completed results. All right, guys, so we're working on the backpacks now, so this cleaning solution and uh, sonic cleaner is not a really good job. I'll show you guys the final work, um, but just between the sonic cleaner, soaking, and the LA's totally awesome, scrubbing with a toothbrush quite a bit, and uh, using my exacto knife to pick out some of the details, as you can see here. Um, just some of these smaller points just going along and scraping out the paint just to make sure I get it all out of there out of the way um, I mean they're really starting to, to turn into some recognizable detail um, that I think is going to paint up really really well and I'm really excited for all of it so um, just wanted to show a little bit more of the process here before I reveal the final results Hey guys, um, while my husband is working on stripping the Space Marines old paint off, I'm going to be working on uh, removing mold lines and assembling the Orcs and Gretchen.
All right, so here we are after lots and lots of time soaking in LA is totally awesome. Uh, lots of time scrubbing with a toothbrush and using a sonic cleaner. We have finally gotten these guys cleaned up. Uh, I've already gone and removed the mold lines and reassembled them. But as you can see from the difference, um, it's done a really good job. I didn't do as much on the bases because, well, they're just going to get, you know, repainted over in basing material anyway. So I really just focused on the models. But they're in really great shape after removing all the old paint. Um, a lot of the detail was brought back out. So I'm going to be really happy to get these painted back up uh, with a good solid paint job. And my wife has finished all of the orcs and Gretchen. So uh, we're going to be ready to get those painted as well. We hope you enjoyed the content of this video. We're excited to get these completed to be able to add these to our armies and um, be able to use them in future videos. Yeah, so thanks guys so much for watching. We really appreciate everybody. Again, don't forget to hit that uh, like button, the subscribe button, and stay tuned for our special message. We have decided to share a special message with you today and on all future videos. We want to share about ourselves and our beliefs. Some of you may agree, some of you may disagree, and some may not care at all. We're not going to quote scripture here. There's plenty of other videos, the Bible, and other formats that you can get that from. We just want to be straightforward and simple. We're Christian, and as such, we believe there is one true God, and He is holy and just. And we are all sinners. This is not to say that we are good or bad, but that we are separated from God because of this. If you have ever gotten angry at someone cutting you off on your way to work, if you've ever looked at someone's clothes or house or car and wished you had the same, you have sinned. These are just a few minor examples, and there are so many more. I know many think that, well, I'm a, not a bad person. Well, that may be true, but sin isn't about good or bad in our eyes. It's about what God has deemed good or bad in His eyes. Because He is perfect, He is the ultimate authority on right and wrong. So with that in mind, God is holy and just, therefore wrongdoing must be punished. That punishment is to be separated from God and to go to hell. But here's the most beautiful part. God is our Heavenly Father, and He loves us. So to pay the price for our sins, He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. Three days later, Jesus rose from His tomb and thus made the way for us to be pardoned of our sins and spend eternity in heaven. Now this is a general but oh so important summary, and it doesn't mean Christians are better than anyone else, it just means we are forgiven. It doesn't mean life is easy, we still struggle, we still fall in sin sometimes, but through being forgiven we are able to work on having a better relationship with the Lord. We want to share this with you and again let everyone know that we take prayer requests no matter what it is. Maybe you have questions about our message. Maybe you just need to vent. Whatever it is, we want to be there for you in prayer. Send to the email in the description below and remember that it is confidential. We'll never share it with anyone else. Thank you and God bless. Um,